Hello, this is Lori Michelle, the Mashiach, sharing a vision and a message about 36. No such thing as good luck. Last week was my birthday. And in the middle of the night, I received a little mazel from heaven, a message from someone Hashem brought me somebody from the other side. And if you know me, you're not going to be surprised. But a lot of people don't know me very well and don't know that I have an affinity and a liking for the Grateful Dead. I'm not a deadhead, but I've seen the Grateful Dead more than any other band. And I love rock and roll. American, I came of age in the 70s, lots of good classic rock. But years later, I got married to a deadhead and it was required to go to at least two concerts a year. So I've seen the dead many times. And I especially loved Jerry Garcia who died in the 90s. So in the middle of the night, the morning of my birthday, I heard a familiar voice. And I said to Hashem, who are you bringing me? And he said, listen. And he said, it's gonna happen soon. You know, the year of Shemitah, we're supposed to all come together. This is gonna be a big deal. And I think, yeah, right, sure. But Hashem is telling me and he, that it's coming this year, and he brought me Jerry Garcia. I had heard the voice, I've heard him in many interviews, I've seen him live, and he said, Lori, it's gonna happen soon. I said, really? He said, yes. And he said, thank you. I said, if this is really you, and Hashem said it was, I said, I need to thank you because you were pure love on stage. You gave it all away. He's crying. Jerry's on the other side, a grateful dad. <laughs> and uh, he appreciates that I appreciate how he just gave it all away. He was so in love with giving his music away. And that was what impressed me about the Grateful Dead. I went to these concerts and they would allow their fans to set up a whole recording section and they would record the concert and they would share all the music for free. They weren't doing this for the money, but they made money. I don't know how much money, I don't know how well they ever did, but they did everything for love, which is what I do. And I appreciated Jerry Garcia. He was amazing. So I thanked him. And that was the visit. He said, you're going to do it. It's going to happen. I said, I don't know. I'm from Missouri people. You've got to show me. So then I went back to sleep. I said, wow, really, Hashem? He said, really? And a few hours later, my birthday morning, I just turned 62. I'm officially a senior citizen in Israel. Wow, I'm so old. And he woke me again later that morning. But backing up, the day before my birthday, it was a forecast, a weather forecast of rain, 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 all through my birthday. So I was really kind of upset about it that I wasn't going to get my morning run in and I had to do a workout in my apartment. Yeah, I love to run. It gets all the agita out of me. So he woke me up and he woke me to the number 36. And I looked and I said, 36? He said, yes, what's 36, Laura? And I said, double high, Hashem. And he said, what does that mean, chai? I said, chai is 18. 
and it's good luck supposedly you know mazel good luck mazel tov 18 and double 18 is 36 double high and he said is there such a thing as luck or i said hashem no <laughs> I said, there's no such thing as luck. A lot of people wish people good luck, lots of luck. And when something good happens, oh, you're so lucky. And it's not luck. He's involved in every single aspect of everything that goes on in this world. And we are oblivious to it. Even the most religious, most observant people who give him credit for everything are not aware, like I am, that he's really involved in the littlest details. And it's so wonderful. And all I want to do is share it with you. So I'll share this with you. So right after this conversation, we agreed there's no such thing as good luck. No such thing as happenstance. Nothing happens absolutely nothing without his involvement. And right after that conversation, he said, Lori, look at your weather app. And you don't know this, but I can see his spiritual eyes. I, I can look at him right now and he's smiling at me. And I looked at him and I said, Hashem, why are you telling me to look at the weather when I know it's supposed to rain all morning? I said, look at the weather, Lori. And I looked, and sure enough, my birthday morning was sunshine. No rain. I said, Hashem, you did it for me. And he said, Lori, leave it at that. I love you, Hashem. Deal, people. He's so much better than you know. God bless you. He gave me a very happy birthday. And I wish you all, all the best. No luck, just goodness. And peace on earth in this generation. <laughs>